And you are now live. Hello. Hi. Let's so put that there so we can put it in the holder so you don't have to hold it. I don't know if you can get it that way, can you? Or can you? I don't know. I don't know if we're upside down. I can't hear you. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. How do we do that? Does that make it better? Can you hear me now? Oh, don't put your finger on the mic. Oh, Quite duh. Better. No, I haven't. Okay. Done. Right. Um, so we've got some of your questions, but... Um, because we're not the most tech savvy, the ones you sent to me, I have, but the ones that you put on the Rob's account, we, yeah, we'll show you have. what happened. We'll show you what happened to the, I'll hold. Dun, dun, dun. Don't we love a smashed iPhone? So we have a smashed iPhone and no power. We're doing really well, but, uh, yeah, we're getting there. Um, so we're working from one iPhone and one laptop, which is not connected to London Theatre Direct Live thing. So Did um, we save the password this morning when we logged in? No. No. So we can't get all of the questions that you sent to that account. But what we can do is you can ask them now, or I can ask you some of the ones that I saved. Oops. Which are really good ones. Um, this is Steinman. Say hello, Steiny. Steiny is absolutely fast asleep. That's probably the quietest Steiny of you will ever see him because he's just been out in the glorious sunshine here for the last like nearly two hours um how's life in isolation that iphone is worse than mine you're not alone there's many people who have smashed in isolation yeah yeah that's my third in in since lockdown actually yeah yeah um oh there's a box on here really molly is there so what i can put questions you can ask them here is it oh hang on Go live with? That's to go live with someone. Oh, you've got the questions here. Thank you. So. Right, okay, so. You ask away. I think they, can you hear us if we do that? What was the best part about making Grounded? Is this working? Yeah, okay. What was the best part of making, we put the questions in the box. Brilliant, okay. Right. Go, you go. <clears throat> the best part about making Grounded was um stopping is going insane in uh -huh. in Louth. i mean Louth is beautiful it's lovely and um also to get our original songs out of the top drawer yeah it was nice to revisit them i think that and was play with the guitar a bit the best thing and also because our intimate gigs and crazy cocks were so small a lot of yes. our friends and family couldn't actually make it to those concerts because they sold out. So for me, it was actually really nice to get to share some of those original songs with my family and my parents who had never heard them before. So yeah. um, that was really nice. Right, how do I get another question? What, was, what advice would you give your younger self? Go. My younger self? Yeah. Um, <laughs> stuff you can't say on the internet, probably. <laughs> Um, I would have said to my younger self, get ready for this lockdown and make sure your children are in the same country before it happens. Or you're in the same country. Or I'm in the same uh, country, yes. Well, um, my advice would be just do it, stop dilly-dallying. But then at the same time, everything happens for a reason, doesn't it? So I got here a bit later than I wanted to, as in like shows and work and stuff like that. But I'm sure it was for a reason. But my advice to my younger self would be just Get on with it, believe in yourself. You actually can do it. Um, let me see. I'd like to order some pancakes with stroop waffles. That's not a question. But so would I. <laughs> oh, three albums you can't live without. That's good. I actually only said that last week. I really miss my records. I think it's because we're not working at the moment and that's my routine in the morning is get up and put on something when I'm cleaning the house and making coffee. Um, but when I'm driving, I, I really love to listen to James Arthur. I really do. I think he writes such great um, hook lines and it's such great music to listen to when you're driving. I mean, probably anywhere. But for me, driving. I don't really listen to music when I run. And I don't really listen to music when I ride my motorbike. But other than that, I... Um... I would say if I could only listen to three albums ever again, I would probably do Led Zeppelin BBC live sessions because I really enjoy it because it's live. And... I've never heard them. Can I take a greatest hits of Fleetwood Mac? If not, I'd take Rumours. And... The third one... 
Actually, probably you 2 The Joshua Tree. Because I don't listen to it that often, but it's a brilliant album, and every time I do listen to it, it makes me feel really good. Then I will pick a James Arthur album. I will pick a Boys to Men album, Cooley High Harmony. And let's throw in some Rick Astley or Stock Aiken and Waltman's Greatest Hits. <laughs> that shows you where I come from. Da, 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 da. What is your dream role to play? Um, dream role that I've not yet played is Jean Valjean. Mm. I've played some dream roles. <laughs> uh, what is your dream role to play? I don't know. Um, Myself. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I um, I, th I think... I'm trying to read their messages, too. Oh, I think you can can't believe you didn't say Bowie. Do you know what? I actually was one of the first things that was in my head, and I'm like, I can hear all those songs, and I close my eyes. I know that sounds cheesy, but I can. So I... I While Sharon's know. thinking of a dream role, I'm going to try and read. Can I hold that? Oh. Just to read the messages that have been in so far. Just people saying hello. Um, you're covering the mic again. Oh, go. Oh, all right, okay. That will be me. Um, How do I do that? Let me see. Um, my dream role to play. I really want to play Mrs. Lovett in uh, Sweeney Todd. I think that's a fabulous role and I really enjoy that. And I also want to play Mama Rose and Gypsy, so... Hello from Bourne. Hello back to Bourne. Uh, that would be one. Let's see if there's another question here. Oh, have you taken anything... Oh, that's a good question, Molly. Have you taken anything from shows you've been in and what's your favourite bits of memorabilia? Um, yeah, we basically took a lot from Bat, didn't we? We, we didn't did. take it, we got given it. We got given it, but then... We donated it to a charity... Uh, fundraiser yeah but when back closed in the dominion in january there was very lots of conversations about whether it was going to go on and we were told that we could take a lot of our costumes and then we were told like the day before we finished actually you're not allowed to take your costumes because it might potentially be happening again there was rumors about places in america and um i really wanted to take my underwear because they had let me keep that from the last show and it was made for me by the fabulous um ray and b lingerie they're so amazing um and I had two dressers standing outside my dressing room door after that scene at the final show, like police officers ready to take it off me. There was no way I was getting out of that theatre. Hello, Cleethorpes. We're not far away from you. Um, but what else have I robbed? I've got um, bits of costumes. I've got um, bits of jewellery and stuff that I keep. Um, what do I it. have? I have... Um, you have your plectrum from Buddy. I have my plectrum from the Buddy Holly story. I have my uh, Rum Tum Tugger complete costume from Cats. Oh, I've which time and uh, destroyed the tail of. Did Rob take the shiny pants? Yes, but I gave them to my brother. <laughs> I don't have any more shiny pants. But, you know, fingers crossed. Yeah. And um, it looks good for Bat in September. Yeah. So We're Bat out of staying really optimistic, and I know the whole Bat out of Hell family and team are as well, so... Um, that would be, um, fingers crossed, we'd be back in those shiny pants and those underwear soon. Rob, what's your favourite tattoo of yours? Ooh, I don't really know. Um, Only if we were going with them, I should have said that. Sorry, I said they want to reuse the underwear in another production. It was because they wanted us on it. They want us back, No, they course. can't. They don't use that stuff on anyone else. It's just sitting in a box. Um, I do like uh, this arm in general because it's like a map of my life. So I class that as one tattoo. So let's say the arm. There's lots of things. There's even something German here. Look, when Träume fliegen lernen. I was going to say werden, but it's lernen. When dreams learn to fly. It's a quote from Peter Pan. Which outfit from any show would you like to keep and why? Hmm... Which outfit? Um, I would have taken the green dress from Paradise just because it's fabulous. Yeah, I'm trying to think now. I wouldn't mind keeping my um, caboose costume from Starlight Express. That was yeah, pretty that epic. Would be a nice one to go around the house in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that tattoo. Da, 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 da. Relieved about the underwear. Can't wait to see you guys in September. Oh, we still can't wait to see you guys as well soon, hopefully. Um, I'm playing Zach. Moonian in School of Rock in October. Can you give me advice? Oh, wow. Congratulations, you. That's amazing. That's fantastic. The, um, the, the only thing for School of Rock that I would give is to 
to keep moist. <laughs> yeah. Keep your throat. And I don't know that Zach Mooney and Roll. Is that one of the students, is it? Possibly. I think it is. Yeah, I think. Is that not name. the drummer? Is that not the drummer? Oh, is it a girl drummer? Look at it. I can't remember. No, no. It's, it was a boy drummer, but I don't know if that oh, was the, the drummer. the girl's the bassist. That's what it yeah, is. The... Yeah. Um, yeah, and just be a sponge and listen to everybody who's been in the business longer than you and who's around you and warm up and... Remember, the show is the star. Yes. Don't, there you go. Don't, uh, don't lie too high. Don't otherwise. Um, what was the best part of being in Mamma Mia? Probably working together was honestly the best part of being a Mamma Mia, getting to create the scenes together and stuff as well. It's always funny when you go into a show where there's a cast or part of a cast that have already been there because you create things that are new, but it's only, um, there's only so much that you can create new. Whereas because it was both of us and you did for the first time, it was really lovely getting to create those scenes and that Donna and Sam storyline. It's very comfortable clothing as well for Sam because I think I'm just wearing like linen the whole time. It's like wearing your pyjamas to work. Let's see, what else? Um, do you think you need to train at a well-known theatre school to succeed? Of you us don't do need it. to, it's a bonus. I think it's a... It's training definitely, is a bonus. Training is a bonus. But and, do you and need never, it to succeed? I mean, I still, to this day, I mean, we just did a... Um, an online vocal singing class the other the other Last week. week you yeah. you never stop learning. I mean, I think that's a quote from Pavarotti. They say um, somebody asked him once in an interview, "When did you stop studying?" And he said, "I paused studying, like ten minutes before you started the interview." He said, "We are yeah. always studying." The thing is, it it's like the best training that you will ever get is on a job. And that's the same as is from watching people, from being in the wings even, and working with people when I was okay, younger. Yeah, hi from Uruguay. We're hitting wow. the hitting the European shores. Mm. Um, but um, with regards to there's a formula like you get you get it to a theatre school, you do your training, you do your showcase, you get an agent, you meet a casting director, blah blah blah. But there's also other ways into the yeah, business. Yeah, some people are you just born have to have with a passion. With um, some find people, it. yeah, some people are born with the gift of. No, look at that outside, Trotter's oh. Independent Traders. <laughs> that was Del Boy's. Uh, calling to tell us probably the about electricity. The electricity yeah. but we paused him for you. Let's see, what else? We Other declined. questions do we have? Questions. Who is the best person? You have worked with in terms of personality. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. Who's the best person you've worked with in terms of personality? I mean... I don't know. Um, there's um, a guy called Patrick Sullivan who was in yeah. Bat Out of Hell. He's one of the most lovely, loveliest, kindest giving performers that you'll ever meet. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think now of... I'm mean, working with lovely Martin Dickinson as well who reminds yeah, me of Martin, Patrick Good, just that lovely Martin always Dickinson. with a smile. Always with a smile. And our Toby as well from Mamma Mia. It's that kind of people, the people that you know when you walk in you're going to get a hug and a smile. That's our... Where is it? Our landlord's calling you now. I think. Um, on the dead phone. But yeah, there's so many personalities in this business. There's nobody in this business, I think, who's not got a little bit of wackiness. Yeah, I tell you who's a, uh, just a, a legend and um, a wonderful uh, leading man whose feet are so on the ground is Drew Savage. Who I've never worked with. But um, how... Do you smash three months, three weeks? Please release an album of original songs. We will, we will. That is our plan. Because I'm clumsy. I smash phones because I'm clumsy and even going to plug one in. Uh, can Rob tell us his best joke, please? My best joke? You think about that. Okay. And then, who, what are you most excited for about the Boo Tour? Um, being back in Jim Steinman's... Um, Archive of music. Getting to sing that stuff again, yeah. And getting to play the roles. We love and the characters. back on stage again together. How often does that happen, eh? Yeah, exactly. This is um, a joy. My best joke, my favourite joke that I always go back to is... Um, get ready for it. Here's a corker. This guy goes to the doctors and he says, Doctor, I've been feeling like a pig. And the doctor says, Oh, how long have you been feeling like a pig? And the guy replies, About a week. And ladies and gentlemen, that was in Bad Out of Hell for about a week in <laughs> previews really. before in Manchester. I was cut. <laughs> it got cut. Oh, funny. Let's see what else we got here. Who, Who cooks? cooks? And what's your go-to dish? 
Um, Sharon Cooks. And I have, if anything, this lockdown has exposed a serious lack of variety in my culinary skills. I've got mm -hmm. about six dishes that are on heavy rotation at the moment. Although I have made a nice soup today, which was supposed to be for lunch, but then no power, no blender, bleh, so we'll try that. I'm good on. with a roast dinner. Yes. A Sunday roast. Sharon's a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I am part-time vegetarian. So when she cooks her um, vegetarian spaghetti bolognese, I love it. Yeah, that is my go-to. That's my big And I don't actually taste, there's no meat in it. No, that's my comfort food, that spaghetti bolognese. So I think me eating meat is basically just because I'm lazy. Yeah. Are you still a veggie, Shaz? Yes. Yes, I am. A vegetarian with vegan aspirations. That's how I describe myself. Do you still speak to Andrew, Christina and other members of the original cast? Well, not as often as we used to, but we are still very much in touch, especially in lockdown now. We've been, Christina did a little live that we tuned into the other day. And, uh, and we reach out to Christina. I mean, I reach out to a, a handful of them. You always like take a handful with you who you reach out to. Yeah. And basically, if any of you came to our Vision of You um, concert at the other palace, there was a big handful of our, our closest friends that we tried to hold on tight to when we left, like Gemma yeah. and Hannah and and um tim, tim and stuart and mm. simon of course georgia yeah. ben that was lovely actually the wonderful wonderful ben being ben perkis yeah um, and um giovanni of course and christina um andrew you know distance uh, um is is a difficult one there even though it's basically just another another, it's um, another whatsapp another phone it's another whatsapp it? but it's a uh, yeah it's time. but we hear all the andrew um info via christina yeah Sorry, I'm going on. Do you on. think it's necessarily important to have done professional work before trying to go to theatre school? No, I think you just, theatre school is a, a way, it's just a couple of years out of your life to get some training and to actually move in. I think professional work beforehand is probably really good. I think, um, and it also depends on, sorry if I touch the mic, uh, it also depends on what you want to achieve. If you want to just go into to more acting, I think that's about telling the truth. I mean, everything's about telling the truth, but... I think that um, you have more of a chance of having no theatre background in uh, really diving into becoming uh, on the acting side or the vocal side than if you wanted to be um, in 42nd Street because I think without training you have no yeah, chance. Yeah, this is true. So if you're talking more Dancing. dance, you definitely have to have a, a background and um, to be flexible, to be able to count to eight, to be able to... <laughs> Um, turn on a dime, that yeah. sort of thing. But I think if vocally it's more to do with what you're born with. I mean, everybody can learn to sing and the the tone that you uh, um, produce is a taste thing. That was our electrician again. <laughs> you couldn't write this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you deal with stress? Coffee. <laughs> yeah. Um, going right. for runs, going for runs. I like to ride my motorbikes, which is not allowed at the moment. But um, or this this bundle of joy. Is he in there? I yeah, can't he see. is. He is. That is a great, a great stress, stress release. Buster. This is also a stress release. Sharon's guitar. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, running is good, and music. Nothing takes me out of my head more than music. And How do you guys deal with stress? Yeah. Give us some tips. Also, we both just joined Audible, and Rob is enjoying a really good book at the moment, aren't you? Mm-hmm, um, David Jason's Because he usually puts stuff in his, his ears to, to zone out, which is also kind of half the point of why I run, is really just to listen to music and take my mind off the fact that I'm actually running. Yeah. How are you keeping a routine during lockdown? Um, I think everybody's well, Making kinda, routines, yeah, new routines. Yeah, everybody has kind of settled into their own little routines at the moment around the place. And it is important. We're all creatures of habit. We all need routines. Um, ours is pretty much coffee and a bit of whatever series we're watching, maybe. Um, if it's a nice day, we'll get it straight away with Steiny. Chocolate's a good stress release. Yeah. I'm reading these. Yoga, yes. Yoga, yes. Hey, I tried my first Pilates with Sharon. I loved it. Yeah. Um, I have a nice yoga, it's called Core Yoga, and she's very zen, the little girl on YouTube that does it, I like her a lot. Um, so yeah. Uh, Laughing together is great, stress release. Yeah, exactly. I've just taken up meditation, I'm really enjoying it. 
I tried and I really got that mind from this book and I tried it but it just made me feel awful because I can't do it because after 10 seconds my brain is going Drrr. and I know they say that's the point don't be angry with yourself and just start again but I'm not good at doing things that I'm not good at so I need to have more patience with myself with the old meditation South End I hope that back goes to South what else have we got here question time why did you choose Louth for lockdown? Um, you know, we had theatre digs booked, right, for obviously all the cities that we were going to. Um, but the last places we wanted to be in was a city. So when we had the choice, we just looked for somewhere that was kind of within an hour radius. Rob is from Lincolnshire. It was your suggestion to look at the Yeah, walls, to look at Louth because it? it was closer to the Lincolnshire walls. Yeah, so we put in just somewhere on Airbnb that had outdoor space, allowed a dog and was kind of in somewhere that we'd be close enough to a town, but kind of far away. So, um, yeah, it was good. It was, it's a, so far, it's been a really nice choice, actually. Yeah, it's beautiful. And um, it's very important to get your hour of um, fitness. I mean, they always say, you know, you're allowed an hour of fitness, and you see, like, every next person is wearing a shell suit or, or, or a track suit nowadays to say that they're out having sport but it's equally as important to get out for your mental health um where else have we got if angela's ash has got a west end slot would you consider going back oh Ooh. i played the original in the workshop and it was so wonderful it was such an amazing show and the writers hurt and howl are, are fabulous but um it was played by my very good friend actually jacinta white who I did a show with a few years ago and she's just such a phenomenal talent. So for me to go back with what she's done with that character, it would be massive shoes to fill. Plus I'd say she'd fight me for it. <laughs> um, but it's funny because people say that about us. They're like, oh yeah, but there was another Falco and Sloan in the workshop. And yeah, what you do in the workshop is four days, five days. You learn the songs and you say the words out loud. But the creating of the characters is in the room and is the first time that you get on the stage when you're in front of an audience. So... Um, I'd say she's done a massive amount of work on it since I've been, since I've been in those shoes. Um, I'd love to see it though, and it's a great show. I'd love to see it get a run in the West End. How do you roll your tongue? I've been trying to learn. It's about relaxing back here. What's your that? tongue. All right. That's my vocal exercise. That I get all the time. It's about relaxing, <laughs> and your tongue is connected to your larynx, which is there. So any pressure or stress that you have here, you won't be able to do it. A good one of starting is that one, and a good way of just getting to feel lip how, rolls. how those lip rolls should be. Lip trills is it push your hold off me for a sec. Okay, one second. Thank you. Is to actually, some people can't do it because they go like that. But if you just lift, like a little face lift, becomes much easier. And then try and mimic that without the lift. And then try and get that same relaxed, numb feeling in your tongue. It's my favourite one. What's the best box set? Hey, we just finished. We're not even finished. We're on the very, very last episode. On the last, the last half an hour yeah. of season seven. Of Sons, Sons of, of Anarchy. Anarchy. Yeah. And it's like motorbikes, Hell's Angels, and I was like, yeah, right, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. It's really, really good. It's really good, the really good with um brilliant. Charlie Hunnam and um, Kate and... Segal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're fabulous. We really, we've really enjoyed that. We yeah, to... we also like Ian, everybody else. Rob's we went... keeps telling us to watch Vikings. So we have to yeah. do that next. What else did we finish? We finished. Oh, Spartacus was also fun, wasn't it? Yeah, seriously kinky. Just saying. Any backstage mm. mishaps that you don't watch that with your mum and dad in the No, room. definitely not. Any backstage mishaps that you will always remember? Um, I once was kind of getting to be late to get on stage, and I ran down the stairs and I tripped over the step and the really hurt my ankle. No, Christina didn't show up. I'll always remember that because Rob just went straight to the line for the next song, and our Rob Emery MD just went okay, mm, and that was really funny. Yeah. She was okay. That's she why was it was okay. funny. Yeah. But um, what else? Um, it was because we just changed scenes or something, wasn't it? And yeah. She went to the wrong position. Anyway, that's the life of live Mishap. theatre. What else? Mishaps. I don't remember anything. Mishaps. Um, I mean, mishaps on stage. I mean, Christina mentioned this in her Insta Live that on... I think it was the first night in Oh, in her back, and Andrew nearly went they, into the pit. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, slipped yeah. over the water, which I shot over the stage oh, when I, I dropped into the water the night that oh. um, 
you dropped the gun just before you went on. I think oh, you totally yeah. got away with I that. I was flicking the gun. That was it. That was it. I was flicking the gun. In the wings. Pretending I was like some dirty Harry gangster. Just flicking the gun around my finger. Before he busted into the deep end to yeah. shoot. Tink, and the blah, blah, blah. gun flew off in the air. You couldn't write this. No, and it dropped hell. on the floor and bounced and bounced and went down a crack and went like on 20 feet under the stage. Just before I have to burst through all, the wall. All the stage crew that were standing around just was like... So I went really out. Sharon can do this for you. I'll, t- I'll show you what I did. I jumped down. It, we, usually wall. with something like that, it would be a show stop because we'd have to stop. And I'm bursting through the wall like this. And I'm going... Wow. And I did that with my <laughs> fingers. And to do the <laughs> shots, which was <laughs> like... <clears throat> I just did this. And Ginge, who's magnificent, our soundy, sound number one... Just did the sound effect. She just did the sound effect. Oh, it was funny. Nobody knew. Well, except the stage manager. He was very angry. Yeah. But in fairness, you did that once. Danielle definitely held you up at gunpoint like this and anything for love at least twice. So, that's, yeah. That's for sure. That's brilliant. Uh, Sharon, which of Rob's tattoos is your favourite? All about your tattoos. Mm, what about Sharon's tattoos? Ooh. Ooh. Tattoos, plural. Um, the one for me, of course. Oh, which one's that? Mm. Um... Which of your bikes is your favourite, Rob? Um, I'd have to say my first one, my Ducati Monster, the red one, because I've had it since um, over 20 years, and I always put something new on it. So even though it's 20 years old, it's it's basically brand new. Um, what was your favourite venue when we did Vision of You? Oh, they were all very different, actually. They're all very special. I mean, Yeah, I'm... for different reasons. The um, obviously the first one was very special. I'm going to sneeze. Bless you. <coughs> Do you see that? That was a coronavirus sneeze protection. I protected <laughs> myself and the, those around me. Um, and that's going in the wash later. The first one was amazing because it was the first. So the playoffs was special. Yeah, it was very, very special. Because of the very set was difficult gorgeous. because it was such a tricky venue to play, and also because our grand maestro Steve Corley. Broke the G low, string on the piano on no, a bank no, holiday no weekend. Insert joke there. Yeah, during Bad Out of Hell. Um, so that was. And we had to replace that string before they had their show. The next following day. show, we were on Eight Miss Haven's step. But it was lovely because that was the first one Luna did with us as well, wasn't it? Mm. Inside so the Playhouse. Mm. And we had a couple Luna's of. Luna's my little girl, yeah. for those of you of the 70,000 followers of London oh, Theatre yeah. Direct who don't know who She's Luna is. She flew over and she did that little uh, solo song too. It was amazing. And then we had um, a lot of special guests as well. I have to read well. some of these. Come I love the Sadduk, but Crazy Cox felt homely. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Then Crazy mm-hmm. Cox was amazing. Yeah, Crazy Cox are amazing. And just then, amazing people as well. Yeah, wonderful. And then... The most um, supportive. What you call it? The other palace was just... That was insane. Yeah, because it was, was just... That was incredible because it was like a, a school reunion. Yeah, it was. It was really, really cool. School out of hell. So many reunion. of you and so many of... Um, our amazing cast members and colleagues as well. Um, can you tell me more about the time you didn't have the couch on stage for Bat? That happened a few times. That happened tw- twice, I remember, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That was, it just didn't... Because it's hydraulic, you know, they, they, if, it's, if something's not running right with the motors underneath and they were remote control, they're like big remote control yeah. cars under the couch and somebody basically um, guides them onto stage and if if the batteries are low or yeah. if there's something malfunction it's you know electric. first time was terrifying because it was like i remember i was on it and they were like you're gonna have to walk on and then you don't have time to talk or think and i was like i didn't even get a chance to confer with him because he was still on the stage giving it all that and i just walked onto the <coughs> stage and there's that moment of with the eyes just going yeah there's no couch <laughs> So, yeah, keep going. <laughs> for which one? Though? It happened in... Um, it happened in Canada. It happened in Who Needs the Young? Who Needs and the it young. happened in... Oh, um, in Body. Body a few times. Yeah. Um, do you know what? You just go into, like... In some ways, they're the moments that you kind of live for. And I think because, because it's like when a you're rush. creating the roles in rehearsals, we went through so many different variations of it. And the first time I remember that we had no couch, we just did, like, a mishmash of all the rehearsals. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, exactly. And that was it. Basically. The temptation is like you go into your actor it brain. It really does you go, challenge you, though, you go, to know don't if you're move, in it. Don't move, don't move, don't move, because your temptation is, your instinct is to just panic and start walking around, and I always think that looks really weak on stage. 
So you're having like an internal fight here and trying to remember what's coming up as well as yeah, doing it and you being also, in a moment. You also, like I say, you live for it. I mean, if you do a show, eight shows a week, sometimes words, even though you're there in the moment, they come with a gesture that you make. And if that gesture is missing because there's something else missing, i.e. a couch, you're probably, oh, all right, that's what I normally do. I normally sit down on that word and then you catch yourself. Thinking about that. Hmm. Um, let me see. Right. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that we, we've... Uh, have Have you seen Six? Yeah, we have, actually. We watched mm. it with Danielle when she was in her last week of rehearsals before she took over, but we've not seen her do with it. With her in the audience, yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, I want to see if we can catch her doing it again. Top three ABBA songs. Oh, I'm going to do Knowing Me, Knowing You. Voulez-vous? Always my favourite one to sing when I was gimme, in gimme, ABBA gimme. tribute band a long time ago. Winner Takes It All and... Um, Waterloo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's so many great songs, aren't there? I like right. Angel Eyes. I love the harmonies and that, even though it's not in the show. We do love that. Um, right. Let me see. One more question here. Do if do you do could do. have a superhero power, power, what would it be and why? Mm-hmm. Teleportation. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I'll take that one as well. Okay. Well, then, if you take that one, that means I could go with you to places. So I'll just hang on. And you you know what, I would have power. the power so to solve do. this coronavirus and whoosh. Yeah. There you go, that's my superhero power. There you go. Uh, right, let me see. But da, da. Let's do three last questions, shall we? Because our electrician has run us three times. <laughs> we need power. Um, first show you were ever in. Me? Yeah. Or you? Both well, of us. Both of us. My first professional show was the Buddy Holly story, and I played Joe B. Molden on the double bass, one of the yeah. crickets. My first show, I was a munchkin in The Wizard of Oz with Nace, Drama. Oh, you're talking about movie. first show, not professional show. Well, that was my first show. My first professional show, where I got a yellow rose and a fiver, was when I was part of the choir and Joseph and his amazing technical dream coat. Okay. Well, my first ever show was... Uh, like um, 10. Uh, Lenny Bernstein's Candide. Ooh, look at that. As Maximilian. And... Who inspired you to be a performer? I don't think anybody inspired me to be a performer. I think it was just always something that I was doing. And then I remember my one of my... My uncle told me when I was like five or six that people did it for a living. And I was like, huh? And then I went to see Phantom when I was 13 and I saw the scale of that show and I was like, wow, people get paid to do that. That, that, if that production of Phantom inspired me to go, yeah, I want to, to do Mom that was, as a job. Yes, please. I mean, in the, in, when I was younger, when I was a teenager, um, there was a TV program called Top of the Pops and I just used to look, watch stuff like that and wish to be one of these pop stars, but also e- even watching... Tom Cruise in movies it inspired me to want to be that kind of actor. So I think everything's an inspiration. And to get into the theatre, it was wasn't a specific person. It was watching the show that Joseph and the Amazing Technical a dream mm. Escapism. Uh, yeah. What's your favourite song at the moment? Second last question. Um, I like that one that I discovered the, at warm up, which is I think it's Dua Lipa. Am I saying her name right? Don't go up, don't show up, don't go out. I like that. I would like to do an acapella version of that or an acoustic guitar version of that. I think it would be really cool, actually. I might put that on the on the agenda for next week. Mm. Now the Grounded, our concert is finished. Um, Maybe we should get you all to um, send us in your favourite artists that you'd like us to do um, some duets to. And yeah. we'll make the next, if we're still here in in two weeks, we'll make another grounded cover concert so only cover songs well, chosen cool. by, by you you guys yes whether it's a solo or a duet and then you can tell us how to do the questions where you send in the answers and we'll write exactly. them down we'll do another time. insta live or something yeah that would be really cool um, but for those of you who haven't seen grounded you can find the i did a little trailer earlier on which right. is on the theater direct london theater direct thanks for having us by the way london theater yeah direct. yeah london theater lovely direct lovely luca you, you're a star um so we are going to put um 
I put a little trailer on it where you can see it, but it was yeah, if it, if it mainly our original fancy. songs and it's been recorded in our living room. We spent about two weeks making it because it gave us something to do as well. So Grounded, check it out. It's uh, something we're actually surprisingly very proud of. Mm. We actually sat back the other night and watched it and went, that's it pretty okay. Anything by David Boy, yeah. Mm. Um, we could be heroes. Um, what else? Right, last question. Or was I? Did I say that was the last question? Let's see. How do you smash what? You did that one was that on okay? iPhone. Okay. Um, you did your best joke, who's the best cook? We know the lockdown show, we just answered that one. First place you will visit together after a lockdown. The first place we'll deliver, uh, what's that? Visit, visit together. together after lockdown. Yeah, I'm sure we will visit family. Yeah. Whether it's in Ireland or Italy or Germany, that's or a theatre. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first place, yeah. Let's 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 hopefully visit. The first place will be um, Birmingham. Audiences With in the theatre. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Please, Who yes. Knows? We're getting itchy. Yeah. Itchy feet to get back on those boards. Okay, guys. We might do a little song later on. Yeah, would you like that? We could go on um, Insta Live again later at some yeah, point with the guitar, or Let's or maybe that. even. Let's see if we get some power. Insta Oki. Yeah. So you could send us. It, <laughs> hey, I just came up with that. It's like a epiphany of yeah. of what happens to me when I'm all caffeined up. We could do Insta Oki, so you could send us. A few or we songs. could. What we could do is we could pick a song from Grounded as well that we've already done and just share the recording of it on here, so people can have a snippet of it. We could do that. We could pick a favorite one. We Which could one put karaoke think? on the background on the laptop, play that, and then just or not sing along to it. Okay, sing along to it. We're yeah. going to go now before we get any more crazy schemes. Uh, thanks for joining us for Thank our you. cup of tea, and uh, we'll do a post and let you know if we can uh, see you guys live later on. Ciao. Ciao from Louth. End. End. There you go. End.